Hello and welcome to this new video. My name is Jan and I'm a Fortify Presets Consultant. And in this video, I want to show you how you can install the Fortify Software Security Center on a Windows system. But before we can start with the video, please have a look at the description because I will link everything that I will mention in this video down below and you can also find very helpful timestamps in there. But before we can get into the installation part, we need to do some preparation. And for that, I highly recommend to have a look at our documentation. So you only need to go to microfocus.com slash documentation and there you can search for the Fortify Software Security Center. Just select the version that you want to install. And then there are a couple of things here. Um, but two main things that we will cover in this video are, or that are um, very important for this video are first of all the system requirements here and the user guide. So when we have a look at this uh, system requirements, it is very, very um, key that you have a look at the uh, different requirements because when you click here on the, the software security center requirements, you will have a look at uh, first of all the hardware and the software requirements. So. Um, in this case, I'm using uh, a Windows Server 2019 that is on AWS, but please have a look at the um, hardware requirements if you want to build this up uh, for your own um, system so that you really have a look at the, the size or the, um, the hardware configuration as well as the um, disk performance or the, the database performance uh, metric down below here. And when it comes to software requirements, um, the Software Security Center is based on uh, Java with Tomcat. So that means uh, when you have a look at the application server here, that the, the 45 Software Security Center supports the Apache Tomcat version 9.x and uh, the following JDK versions. So in this case, I'm using um, the JDK 11. So just to uh, use this to install the, the Apache Tomcat server version 9. Uh, so please have a look at that. And uh, later in this video, we will also have a look at the database configuration. Um, so please have or keep in mind that um, it is possible to run the, the Fortify Software Security Center on different databases. And for that, you can find all the necessary information here, like the version or the collation that is very, very important, as you can see uh, later in this video. And when it comes to setting up the, the whole Fortify Software Security Center, everything that I will show in this video is also explained in the user guide. So uh, when you go here to deploying the Fortify Software Security Center, you can uh, click here and you will find all information that you um, need and also more details than in this video here. So I really highly recommend to have a look at the documentation before you actually start with the installation. But with that, I think we are ready to start um, the installation. So when we go to our uh, Windows Server here, it's uh, Windows Server 2019 with a uh, SQL Server 2019. Um, the, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, install Java. But in this case, I already installed it. So um, I'm, I'm, I will continue to install Tomcat. So in this case, I'm using Tomcat 9.0.62. Um, and I just simply click here on next, 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 um, just to demonstrate that I will use a complete fresh uh, Tomcat server. So, and as I said, um, the, the Fortify Software Security Center is based on Tomcat for the web server, but also um, on the database side uh, for all the data that we, we want to store. But uh, to actually deploy the, the 45 Software Security Center, the only thing that we need to do is to go to our uh, download directory. So whenever you download um, the, the 45 Software Security Center, you will get this directory. And inside of this directory, you have this ssc.war file. And you need to just copy this one here, and go to your installation path of Apache Tomcat, into web apps and just paste it in here that's it because now it will de start deploying the ssc to the tomcat server and uh, in this case as you could see there is already this uh, directory so it is currently deploying the, the ssc and the only thing that i will change in this environment that is not necessary but 
it's nice to have for uh, demonstration purposes is uh, two settings at the Apache side. So when we go to the Apache server here and uh, configure it, first of all, I will go to the Java options because there we can set something called uh, the Fortify home directory. So this is basically um, the directory where we will find our token that we need for the initial startup in. And to declare this here, uh, you only need, uh, or you only have to do like uh, minus uh, d 45home and then set your directory. So in this case, I'm using just c and fortify. So I will create a new directory called fortify, uh, and that should be should be fine. Um, the next thing that I will change for this test environment is um, the memory pool because uh, by default it's very low. So I will set this to two and four gigabytes of RAM just to make sure everything runs smoothly. Um, yeah, and that should, should be it. So I will click apply and okay. And now we can uh, have a look at the interface itself because the, um, the, the web interface or the the initial startup page should be now there. So uh, we can go to um, just to localhost um, then your port of your Tomcat server slash SSC. And then we should be able to see the screen. And that means uh, everything is fine on the Tomcat's um, side. And as you can see here, um, it says, okay, SSC is currently undergoing maintenance. Um, and if we want to configure it, we only have to click here on the administration um, button. And now we can go into our Fortify home directory and there we should find, uh, oh yeah, uh, maybe I should restart the, the servers real quick just to make sure uh, it will get all the settings. So just restart the servers. And after that, we should be able to see um, our init token because as you can see here, we need to enter the, the token to get to the to the first configuration site. And I think uh, it did not pick it up uh, when I configure it. So I just um, restarted the, the Tomcat service. And now you can see we have this SSC directory in here and there is this init token. So just um, open this one and as you can see here, we can now copy this one. I will now simply refresh the page here, just to make sure. So we can paste the token in here. And after that, we should be able to see this screen and that's the, the setup screen. So as you can see here, we can just click on next. And the first thing that we need to provide is the uh, Fortify license. So in this case, I stored it on my desktop, so I will select this one okay yeah that should be fine and now i can configure the url so in my case i'm using this only for demo purposes so i really can just use the one that you can see here but if you have like a regular uh, a regular url that you want to use uh, you need to set it up in here um that should be also fine. Uh, we In this case, we do not need any kind of HTTP uh, host header validation or global search. Um, if you want to learn more about these things, please have a look at um, the documentation. But yeah, that should be fine. So we can click on next. And the next thing that we need to do is to set up the database connection. And in this case, I do not have any database. So we need to set up this database first. And for that, I quickly go into the database tool. So I'm using the, the SQL Server Management Studio. And as you can see here, under databases, I do not have any database. And so let's create uh, a new one. So just um, select a new database. Database name, let's uh, say, okay, it is uh, SC database. Uh, owner default um, that should be fine um, the only thing that we need to take care about is collation because as i said in the beginning that's um, very important uh, whenever we want to um, we want to start the server because um, the, uh, the the 45 software security center is based on different um, databases or you can set up different databases um, you need to have a look at uh, the system requirements. So just go uh, back here 
Uh, let me quickly do that. Go to the, the system requirements and under the database you can find everything that you need to know. So as I said, in this case, we're using a SQL Server 2019. So we need to pick the SQL Latin 1 general CP1 CS AS. Uh, if you're using Oracle or MySQL, please keep that in mind that you need to select another collation. So I will close this one and now search for the SQL Latin 1. Just give me a second. Yeah, SQL Latin 1 general CP1 CSAS. Yep, that should be fine. Everything else should be also fine. And now we click on OK. And now we have our database. And um, now we can go into the installation or the downloaded directory from the Fortify again, because inside here, so when we go into this directory, we can find uh, a directory called SQL. And in there, there are different directories for the different databases. Because when you have a look in here, you see that we have a create tables and a drop table script. And um, as the name says, okay, um, in this case, it will create all the tables that are necessary. So I will open um, this one up here and this will uh, create all the tables that we need for the software security center database. So I'm selecting our database and uh, now we can quickly um, execute uh, this on our database and this can take a few seconds and after that everything uh, should be should be fine so yeah now it looks like everything was successfully let's uh, refresh it and maybe have a look at the, the first tables uh, so yeah that should be fine so now we have our database um, set up correctly and now we can go back into the web interface so in this case i'm using a sql server um, for the database username, uh, I'm using. I just created a, a local user to make sure uh, everything is working fine. I highly recommend to uh, just log in with this user on, on on another system to make sure the login is working. Uh, the next thing that we need to set up is the JDBC URL, and as you can see here in the example, we need to do a few things. So let me quickly uh, paste the, the right thing in here. The, um, the only thing that we need to do here is to set up the host. So in this case, we are running um, the database on the same server as the Apache for the web server. So in this case, I can use the, the local host, the uh, default um, SQL database port, and then we need to set up the database name. So in this case, it is ssc minus db. And we also need to send a string parameter as Unicode uh, set to false. And after that, we can click on test connection and everything was successfully. So that should be completely fine. Now we can click on next. And the last thing what we need to do here is to seed our database. So that means um, we need to make sure that we um, get initial data into our software security center and for that um, you will find different uh, database packages uh, seed packages um, in the download folder so as you can see here i have four um, but two of them the, the process and the report one should be also completely fine so i'm only um, installing these ones so just quickly browsing in here go to the server Let's start with the process seed bundle, seed database. So this could take uh, maybe a minute. And after that, we can uh, continue with the, the second package. All right, so the first package is uploaded successfully. So now we can select um, the report seed bundle and seed database as well and uh, now we can just wait until this is also finished all right so everything is now ready so uh, as i mentioned you can also uh, upload the other c bundles if you want but in this case i uh, don't uh, want to use this so uh, we are 
just continuing with these two that should be fine for our use case so uh, we just click hit uh, or click next and now we can click finish and everything is fine the 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 last thing that we now need to do is to restart um, the server just to make sure everything uh, is completely fine so i will do this just quickly and we will uh, wait until the server is back again Okay, so now we are back again at the server and everything should be fine. Just important information here, after you set up the initial setup and restart the server, it can take uh, a few minutes to boot up for the first time. So just that you know, uh, that's completely normal. So if you need to, to wait a few um, minutes, that's completely normal and only for the first startup. So please make sure you will uh, you start up the, the Tomcat servers and after that we can go into the, the web interface again. So that means uh, we can go to localhost 8080 and um, wait until it is online. Oh, yep, which uh, seems fine. And now we can log in using the default password and username. And for that, you only need to enter admin admin. So that's the um, default username and password. And after that, you can change the password. So just enter your admin password and enter a new one. And now you can click on save. And the password was success, uh, changed successfully. So I can now log in using my new password. And after that, everything should be fine. So now we have our completely new, completely fresh Fortify Software Security Center on Windows. So if you have any questions, uh, please let us know in the comments. And please also like this video. This would be very helpful for us to see uh, how this is for you. And with that, I would say thank you very much for your time and have a nice day.